Your ability to develop and use your inborn creativity will determine your success in life as much or more than any other single factor. Each time you focus your mind on solving a problem and come up with an idea or an insight, you actually experience a positive feeling of excitement, energy, and joy. Using your creativity systematically gives you a greater sense of control over your life, boosts your self-esteem, and moves you ahead toward achieving your goals. Creativity is vital to your success. We've all heard the statistic that the average person uses less than 10% of his or her mental capacity. Well, recent research at Stanford University suggests it is closer to 2%, surely not more than 5. It means that compared to what you could be, you are only enjoying a small part of your existing potential. Children tested between the ages of 2 and 4 test out at 95% highly creative. When the same children are tested later at age 7, only 4% of them are still highly creative. Between the ages of 4 and 7, children who are naturally curious, and by the way, curiosity is a hallmark of creativity, are told over and over to stop asking so many questions. The innate curiosity and creativity are stifled, and the child begins to conform in order to be free of criticism and the feelings of guilt and inferiority caused by criticism. As adults, most people resist change, fear new things, avoid asking questions, and stick rigidly to established ways. The two major obstacles to creative thinking are first, homeostasis, which means clinging to the status quo or trying to continue acting and thinking in habitual ways. And the second is psychosclerosis, which is a hardening of the attitudes evidenced in rigidness of thinking and a refusal to consider alternatives. You can tell how open and flexible your thinking is by seeing how easily you can make three statements or admissions. How easily can you say, I was wrong, I made a mistake, especially to your children, to your spouse, and to your subordinates? How easily can you say, I changed my mind, I thought it over and I changed my mind? And how easily can you say, I don't know, or I don't know, but I'll find out? And you can improve by practicing these three statements. Say them over and over until they flow naturally out of you. However, Einstein said, every child is born a genius. You were born a genius. And the wonderful thing about your genius is that you still have it. Creativity is your natural birthright. It is as much a part of you as your heart and lungs. It doesn't die with lack of use. It simply goes into hibernation, and you can wake it up and activate it in your life whenever you decide to. Today, the very first step to performing like a genius is to accept the fact that deep inside you lies a vast storehouse of wisdom, intelligence, and creativity that you habitually fail to use. Remember, you cannot achieve more just by working longer, harder hours. You must also work smarter. Intelligence is not simply IQ. Intelligence is a way of acting when confronting problems. Many geniuses have ordinary IQs. They are geniuses because they use their minds better than others do. There are basically three qualities of genius. First, geniuses have an open, almost childlike mind. They are receptive to many different ways of exploring a problem. They engage in what is called divergent thinking, and they let their minds consider many approaches to a solution. The second quality of genius is the ability to concentrate intensely, single-mindedly, without diversion or distraction, on one thing at a time bringing all their mental powers to bear on one issue, like a laser beam cutting through steel. The third quality of genius is the ability to approach every problem systematically, using an orderly process to reach sound, well-thought-out conclusions. Let me mention some very important points with regard to creative thinking. The more positive you are, the greater will be the quantity and quality of ideas you come up with. The more you laugh when you're working on a problem, the more likely it is for you to come up with unique ideas and insights. Conversely, tension, stress, anxiety, fear, actually shut down large parts of the brain. So try to stay calm, positive, and relaxed when solving a problem. Look for the good in each difficulty you face, or look for something funny in the situation. Confidently expect to find something positive in any adversity or setback, even just a valuable lesson. This exercise really works and will help you to be more creative and more constructive in any situation. Now, here's a systematic method described by Earl Nightingale in his wonderful audio cassette program, Lead the Field. First, write out your most important problem or obstacle in the form of a question at the top of a blank sheet of paper. For example, your goal may be to earn $30,000 per year. The question would be, what can I do to earn $30,000 per year? 
Write out 20 answers to your question and stay at it until you have the full 20 answers. Often, answer number 20 will be worth more than all the other 19 answers put together. Then, select one of your answers or solutions and implement it immediately. You can implement as many as you have time for, but be sure to go to work on at least one. This simple exercise will give you clarity, focus, and energy, and more people have become wealthy using this 20 idea method. What I call mindstorming than by any other single method of creative thinking. Unlocking your amazing mind to achieve goals or solve problems always begins with clarity and decisiveness. The more clear you are about what you want, the more rapidly your mind will go to work to bring it to you. Another simple mindstorming exercise you can use is to first write out a clear answer to the question, what am I trying to achieve, avoid, or preserve? Be as specific as possible. Then, quickly write down every detail of the problem. Often, the exact answer you're looking for will emerge as you write. When a problem or obstacle is more complex or not amenable to a quick solution, here is a powerful systematic method you can use, alone or in conjunction with others. It has nine simple steps. Step 1. Approach the problem as though there were a simple, logical solution just waiting to be uncovered. This attitude of confident expectation keeps the mind positive and enhances creativity. Step 2. Use positive language. The language that you choose affects the way that you think and how clearly you think about any issue. Instead of the word problem, which is a negative word, use the word situation, which is a neutral word, or better yet, use challenge, which is a positive word, or even better, opportunity. Step 3. Ask, what exactly is the situation? In writing, as they say in medicine, accurate diagnosis is 50% of the cure. Probably half of the problems or situations that you wrestle with in the course of the day can be defined if you'll simply define them accurately. Step 4. Ask, what are all the possible reasons or causes for this situation? This is an extremely important step because if you do not remove the causes, you may solve the particular situation, but you will leave the causes in place and the situation will repeat itself. And wherever you see a situation that occurs over and over again, what it means is that the causative factors have not been dealt with, even though a temporary solution has been implemented. Step 5. Make a decision. Often, any decision is better than no decision. Develop the habit of decisiveness. As soon as you make a decision, you begin to get feedback, which enables you to correct the decision, and gives you more feedback, which enables you to continue to correct. And the very most successful people in every field are decisive. Step 6. Assign specific responsibility. Who exactly is going to carry out the decision? If it's you, accept the responsibility. If it's someone else, make it very clear to them what they're expected to do. Step 7. Set a deadline for completion. This is very important. If you have not set a timeline and made your decision time specific, all you've simply done is had an interesting discussion, but you have not solved the situation or the problem. And finally, step 8. Take action as soon as possible. Get going, get busy, get to work on it. One of the things that we have found over and over again is that the surest way to deal with a major problem is to bring all your energies to bear on it as soon as you possibly can and stay with it nonstop until the problem is resolved. Finally, if you can't solve your problem using the methods we've discussed, here are some focused questions you can pose to stimulate creativity. Here's one of my favorites. What are you trying to do? How are you trying to do it? Remember, if you're pursuing a particular course of action and you have nothing but problems along that course of action, it may indicate that the course of action or the plan is incorrect. What are your basic assumptions? Both your conscious and your unconscious assumptions. Could they be wrong? Incorrect assumptions lie at the root of every failure. Whenever you find yourself experiencing frustration in achieving a particular goal, almost invariably, you have made incorrect assumptions. You have to go back in the past back into the history of the situation, and say, what assumptions have we made here? What if you did exactly the opposite of what you are doing right now? Consider doing exactly the opposite of your current course of action, and then think about doing the opposite of that. Very often, you'll come up with some very creative ways to approach the situation. Be willing to draw a line under everything you're doing today. Imagine starting over with a clear slate, knowing what you now know differently. What would you change? What would you get into or get out of? Most of all, what are you going to do about it? When are you going to do it? Here are seven points to remember on creativity. As long as there are people's needs unmet and human problems unsolved, 
There are opportunities for you to innovate and move ahead. All you need to do is be 10% new in any field to start a fortune. Look for ways to improve what is being done by doing it faster, cheaper, better, easier. Improvements of any kind offer great opportunities. Look into yourself for the solutions to the dilemmas that you face every day. Read continually in your field, research, study, take courses, attend trade shows. Door, it's time consuming and hard work, that's why failures never do it. To increase your income, look continually for new ways to give people what they want. Look at what your competition is doing successfully, learn from them, copy them if necessary, and then do it better. Cherish your mistakes and learn from your failures. They contain valuable lessons that you will need to be successful. Approach every problem or difficulty as though it were sent to make you smarter and stronger. Finally, learn to trust your intuition. Trust yourself. Remember that you are a genius to the degree to which you accept your genius and act upon it. Applying your wonderful mind to the challenges of opportunity that confront it. Your thoughts and feelings about yourself and what you can do or not do are the sum total result of a lifetime of experience and conditioning and usually have little relationship to what is truly possible for you. In personal development, there is a principle or a law of becoming that simply says that each person is in a continual process of evolving and growing in the direction of their dominant thoughts. Your body is also in a state of becoming, with a normal rate of cell death and replenishment. You essentially have a brand new body every seven years, whereas your physical evolution is affected by the food you consume. Your mental evolution and becoming are largely determined by the thoughts you feed your mind. The law of concentration says that anything you dwell upon grows in your reality. Thoughts you think about long enough and hard enough eventually become a part of your mental processes, exerting their influence and power on your attitude and behavior. If you constantly think thoughts of boldness, courage, and self-assertion, you become progressively bolder and more self-assured. Similarly, if you dwell on the person you would like to become with the qualities you aspire to have, you implant those deeply into your subconscious mind, where they become part of your ongoing evolution. What you habitually think about eventually becomes a part of your character and personality. You are essentially a self-made individual, shaped by the thoughts you have allowed to preoccupy your mind. However, for most people, thinking the thoughts they would like to think about to become the person they aspire to be is too big a leap. Many continue to think and talk about exactly what they don't want to happen, only to be constantly amazed when exactly what they were hoping to avoid happens to them again and again. One of the most profound discoveries in human history is that thought is creative. Thoughts held in mind produce after their kind, like baguettes like. Your thoughts become your realities. You become what you think about most of the time. You cannot harbor one kind of thought and experience a different kind of existence. This law of cause and effect works perfectly everywhere and always for everyone. Developing unshakable self-confidence begins with taking full, complete, systematic, and purposeful control over the contents of your conscious mind. Discipline yourself to think consistently about only the things that you desire and to resolutely keep your mind off the things that you fear. All of life is from the inside out. Your outer world will be a reflection of your inner world. True happiness and success come from living your life in harmony with the laws that govern your being, even though these laws are invisible. Just like the law of gravity, which is also invisible but to be violated only at your own peril. Happy people are those who obey and follow the laws of nature and live their lives consistent with those laws. If you want to enjoy self-confidence on the outside, you must practice complete integrity on the inside. The foundation of self-confidence is living your life consistent with your innermost values and principles, while thinking and acting in harmony with your highest aspirations. Men and women with the most rock-solid self-confidence are those who are absolutely clear about what they believe to be right and good and who live their lives consistent with these values. Your true values are only expressed in your actions. You can tell what you truly believe by observing what you do, especially in situations where you have to make a choice under stress. Your choices of actions tell you unerringly who you really are. This brings us to the little-known mental principle called the law of reversibility, which says that actions consistent with particular values or beliefs actually lead to the thoughts and feelings that would have triggered the actions. The keys to developing unshakable self-confidence are self-control, self-mastery, and self-discipline. Self-confidence can come directly by behaving in a self-confident manner, but it comes more often indirectly by doing and saying the things that lead to self-confidence. 
And the most important self-development behavior is living consistently with your highest values at every opportunity. Each time you do this, you will feel positive and happy about yourself, and your behaviors will further crystallize in your personality, making you an exceptional human being in the process of becoming. The sun has not yet kissed the horizon. The world is still, and there's a quiet that envelops everything. It's at this moment, this very second, that champions are made. Not in the glaring light of day, but in the serene embrace of the dawn. This is where our journey begins, with a simple yet profound decision to wake up and grind. You see, life, in its infinite complexity, offers us a canvas, but it hands us the brush only when we decide to take it. Every stroke, every color we choose, starts with the resolve to get up and paint our masterpiece. It's about embracing the moment when the alarm clock sounds, not as a siren of annoyance, but as a trumpet call to greatness. This isn't about just moving through the motions. It's about seizing the day with a purpose that burns so fiercely within us, guiding every action, every decision. But what drives a person to leap out of bed, ready to tackle the challenges that awake? It's vision, a clear, compelling vision of who they want to be, what they wish to achieve. Picture yourself five, ten years from now. What do you see? Is it a reflection filled with achievements, growth, and fulfillment? Or is it clouded by what could have been? The difference lies in what we do in those early hours when the world is yet to awaken. Let me share a secret with you, one that successful people around the globe have whispered for generations. The grind, the relentless pursuit of excellence, starts with a single decision to make the most of each day. It's a commitment not just to be better than we were yesterday, but to pave a path toward a future we've always dreamed of. This isn't about chasing the fleeting shadows of success. It's about building a legacy brick by brick with our sweat, our resilience, and our unwavering determination. Now, I want you to pause for a moment and ask yourself, what am I willing to do today to draw one step closer to my dreams? It's a simple question, yet it holds the power to transform your life. It's not about monumental leaps, but the small, consistent steps we take every day. And it begins now, in this moment, with the courage to push beyond our limits, to challenge the status quo, and to carve out our destiny with the choices we make. Remember, the road to greatness is paved with challenges, setbacks, and moments of doubt. But it's also lined with victories, learning, and growth. It requires a heart that's brave enough to start and strong enough to persevere, a mind that's sharp and eager to learn, and a spirit that's resilient, ready to rise time and time again. So, let this morning be different. Let it be the start of something extraordinary, where you decide to wake up and grind, to step into the arena of your dreams armed with nothing but your passion, your vision, and your unwavering commitment to excellence. Today is your day to shine, to show the world the strength of your resolve and the depth of your desire to achieve greatness. The brilliance of a new day offers more than just light. It provides clarity, illuminating the vast landscape of possibilities that lie ahead of us. This clarity isn't just about seeing, it's about envisioning, about crafting a vision so vivid, so compelling, it propels us forward with an unstoppable momentum. It's here, in the quiet dawn of possibility, where defining your vision becomes not just a task, but a mission. Imagine standing at the edge of a forest, the path before you veiled in mist. Each path represents a choice, a direction your life could take. Now, picture the sun's rays piercing through the fog, revealing the golden path that leads you to your dreams. This is the power of a clear vision. It dispels doubt, lights up your path, and guides your steps with purpose and intention. Your vision, my friends, is more than a dream. It's a beacon that guides you through the stormiest seas, the compass when you find yourself lost in the wilderness of life. But how, you might ask, do we forge this vision? It starts with the courage to ask yourself not just what you want, but who you want to be. It's about looking beyond the horizon, beyond the immediate gratifications, to what truly sets your soul on fire. Crafting your vision is akin to painting on the canvas of tomorrow. Each brush stroke represents your hopes, your values, your aspirations. Begin with broad strokes, outlining the grand picture of your life. Where are you? Who's by your side? What fills your days? Don't just scratch the surface, dive deep. Peel back the layers of your heart and soul and discover the dreams that lie dormant, waiting for your courage to awaken them. Now, refine your vision. Add color, depth, and detail. If you see yourself as a leader, what kind? If you envision a life of adventure, where does it take you? This isn't about vague wishes. It's about crystal clear, 
vibrant visions that stir your heart every time you close your eyes. Write them down, not as fleeting thoughts, but as declarations of your future. This act alone moves them from the ethereal realm of imagination into the tangible world of possibility. A vision without action is like a star without light, beautiful but distant and cold. Herein lies our challenge and our promise, to breathe life into our vision every day. It means waking up with determination, going to bed with satisfaction, and filling every moment in between with the relentless pursuit of that golden path we've envisioned. It's a commitment to turn every obstacle into a stepping stone, every setback into a lesson, and every success into a milestone. Remember, the fabric of your vision will be tested. You'll face doubts, fears, and countless trials. But it's in these moments, when the path seems darkest, that your vision shines brightest. Hold it close, like a torch in the night, guiding you step by step towards the dawn of your fulfillment. And so, as we embrace the grind, do so with a vision that burns so brightly it cannot be ignored. A vision that doesn't just call to you but roars with the force of your entire being behind it. This is the start, a journey not just towards achieving goals but towards living a life of purpose and passion. A journey that we embark on not just with the dream of what we'll achieve, but with a clearer vision of who we'll become in the process. Our next step takes us into the heart of transforming our vision into reality. Imagine for a moment that each goal you set is like a lighthouse, guiding you through the fog towards your destined shore. The power of goal setting is not just in defining what we aim to achieve, but in illuminating the path that leads us there. It's about turning the intangible into the tangible, the dream into the achievable. Explore how setting precise, actionable goals can be the bridge between where you are now and where you want to be. Consider the story of a young artist, passionate and driven yet adrift in the vast sea of creativity without direction. It was not until she learned to set clear goals for her art, specific exhibitions to participate in, a number of paintings to complete, a style to master, that her path became clear. With each goal she set and met, she not only moved closer to her vision but also built the confidence and skills necessary for her journey. This is the essence of goal setting. It's not merely about achieving outcomes, but about who we become in the process. Setting goals is akin to planting seeds in a garden. Each seed represents a goal, a future achievement that lies dormant, awaiting our effort and care to grow. But it is not enough to simply scatter these seeds to the wind. They must be planted with intention, watered with action, and nurtured with persistence. As with gardening, the fruits of our labor and goal setting are not immediate. They require time, dedication, and the resilience to face the challenges that arise. Yet the harvest they yield is abundance. It brings us closer to our vision, enriches our lives, and empowers us to reach further than we ever thought possible. But how do we set goals that truly matter, that resonate with our deepest aspirations? It begins with reflection, with turning inward to understand what ignites our passion and drives us forward. From this place of clarity, we set goals that are specific, measurable, achievable, relevant, and time-bound. These are not just words. They are the framework that transforms vague wishes into clear, actionable objectives. They compel us to move, to act, and to persevere, even when the path ahead is steep. Now, imagine setting a goal so compelling that it pulls you forward, that the thought of achieving it fills you with an irrepressible energy. This is the power of setting meaningful goals. They act as beacons of light in the darkness, guiding us, inspiring us, and pushing us beyond our perceived limits. And with each goal we achieve, we not only move closer to our ultimate vision, but also build a ladder of successes upon which we can climb to heights we once thought unreachable. Yet setting goals is only the beginning. The true challenge lies in the pursuit, in the grind, in the daily commitment to turn our goals into reality. It's in the quiet hours of the morning, in the sacrifices we make, and in the unwavering belief in our ability to achieve what we've set out to do. This commitment, this relentless pursuit, is what separates those who dream from those who achieve. As we delve deeper into the art of goal setting, carry forward the lessons we've learned. Remember that our goals are not just destinations but stepping stones in our journey of growth and self-discovery. They're the milestones that mark our progress the challenges that test our resolve, and the victories that celebrate our perseverance. And so, as we set our sights on the horizon, do so with a heart full of ambition and a mind focused on our goals. Embrace the challenges, learn from the setbacks, and celebrate each step forward, no matter how small. 
For it is in the pursuit of our goals that we truly find ourselves, that we uncover the strength, the courage, and the determination to achieve our highest aspirations. Emboldened by our vision and guided by our goals, we come face to face with the very essence of achievement. It's in this space where effort meets perseverance that our dreams begin to take shape, morphing from the intangible into milestones of our persistence. Embracing the grind isn't merely a part of the journey. It's the heartbeat of success, the rhythm to which all great achievers march. It's where work ethic and persistence become not just virtues but the very fuel that propels us forward. Think of the grind as the potter's wheel, and you the clay being shaped and molded by every turn, every pressure applied, every moment spent in the pursuit of mastery. It's a process, sometimes arduous, often demanding, but always transformative. It's about falling in love with the process, with the daily discipline of honing your craft, sharpening your skills, and pushing beyond the boundaries of yesterday's achievements. In this endeavor, our work ethic is our compass, guiding us through the fog of discouragement, the storms of failure, and the calm of routine. It's what gets us up before dawn, ready to tackle the day with zeal, to dive headfirst into our challenges with an unwavering resolve. A strong work ethic doesn't waver in the face of adversity. Instead, it looks adversity in the eye and sees an opportunity to grow, to learn, and to emerge stronger. Persistence, on the other hand, is our anchor, keeping us steadfast in our pursuit, reminding us that the journey to greatness is a marathon, not a sprint. It whispers in our ears during moments of doubt, urging us to take one more step, to try one more time, to persevere through the setbacks and the disappointments. Persistence is the quiet strength that fuels our resilience, enabling us to rise time and again from the ashes of our failures, clothed in the wisdom of our experiences. Imagine now a bridge spanning the chasm between where you were and where you want to be. This bridge is built on the pillars of work ethic and persistence, constructed by your daily efforts, your sacrifices, and your unwavering dedication to your goals. Crossing this bridge requires more than just desire. It demands action, relentless, focused action driven by a deep-seated belief in the inevitability of your success. But make no mistake, the grind is not a solitary journey, a lone battle against the odds. Along this path, we're surrounded by fellow travelers, each with their dreams, their struggles, and their triumphs. It's in this community of dreamers and doers that we find inspiration, support, and the shared wisdom of collective experience. Here, we learn the value of mentorship, of lifting each other up, and of the power of collaboration in turning our individual dreams into a collective reality. As we embrace the grind, do so with a sense of purpose, with the knowledge that every effort, no matter how small, brings us closer to our vision. Celebrate not just the milestones, but the effort it takes to reach them, the early mornings, the late nights, the sacrifices, and the unwavering dedication to our craft. For it's in these moments, in the heat of the grind, that our character is forged, our resilience is tested, and our true potential is revealed. In this relentless pursuit of excellence, also be mindful of the journey itself, of the lessons learned, the friendships forged, and the person we become along the way. Find joy in the process, in the daily act of striving for greatness, and in the knowledge that we are not just chasing dreams but living them, one day, one step, one relentless effort at a time. Woven with threads of determination, resilience, and the ceaseless pursuit of excellence, there emerges a golden thread, one that adds strength, vibrancy, and depth to our endeavors. This thread is continuous learning and growth, an indispensable aspect of our voyage towards realizing our fullest potential. It's in this commitment to never stop learning, to embrace growth as our constant companion, that we unlock the doors to realms of possibility previously unimagined. Consider for a moment the story of the ancient mariners, setting sail into uncharted waters driven by a thirst for discovery. Guided by the stars and learning from the sea, their journey was not just about reaching new lands but about the transformation that occurred within them as they faced the unknown, adapted to the challenges, and expanded their understanding of the world. Like these intrepid explorers, we too must set sail on a voyage of intellectual and personal discovery, charting our course through the vast. Oceans of knowledge, skills, and experiences available to us. This commitment to continuous learning and growth is not merely an academic exercise. It's a way of life, a mindset that sees every experience, every challenge, and every interaction as an opportunity to learn, to improve, and to evolve. It's about cultivating a curiosity that knows no bounds, 
a hunger for knowledge that is never satiated, and a resilience that grows with each passing day. In this age of information, where knowledge is more accessible than ever before, the challenge is not in finding resources but in choosing where to focus our efforts. It's about discerning which skills are most relevant, which knowledge is most transformative, and which experiences will propel us forward on our journey. This discernment is the compass that guides our learning, ensuring that we invest our time and energy in ways that are aligned with our vision, our goals, and our deepest values. As we embark on this path of continuous learning and growth, do so with intention and purpose. Be strategic in your learning, seeking out mentors who can guide you, communities that can support you, and challenges that can stretch you. Utilize the vast array of books, courses, seminars, and technologies available to you, using them as tools to carve out your unique path to greatness. But also remember that learning is not just about acquisition but about application. It's about translating knowledge into action, theories into practice, and it's in the doing that learning becomes real, that growth occurs, and that we begin to see the tangible fruits of our labor. This is where true mastery lies, not just in knowing but in being and doing. In this journey of continuous learning and growth, also embrace the role of teaching, sharing your knowledge and insights with others. For in teaching, we reinforce our own learning, we solidify our understanding, and we contribute to the growth of those around us. It's in this exchange of knowledge, this cycle of learning and teaching, that we all rise together, elevating not just ourselves but our communities, our societies, and ultimately our world. As we forge ahead, carry with you the lessons of the past, the learnings of the present, and the promise of the future. Approach each day with a learner's heart, a seeker's mind, and a doer's hands, ready to absorb, to apply, and to adapt. For it's in this continuous cycle of learning and growth that we not only achieve our goals but surpass them, not only fulfill our potential but expand it, and not only live our dreams but exceed them. As we stand at the juncture between aspiration and realization, between dreaming and achieving, it's imperative to recognize that the journey we've embarked upon is not for the faint-hearted. It's a path laden with challenges, yet it's also strewn with opportunities for growth, learning, and unparalleled success. The essence of making it happen, of transforming our dreams into reality, is encapsulated in the relentless pursuit of our vision. Armed with a solid work ethic, an insatiable desire for continuous learning, and an unwavering commitment to our goals, envision yourself as a sculptor, with your life as the marble block. Each day presents an opportunity to chisel away at the superficial layers, to refine and define, to reveal the masterpiece within. It's a process that demands patience, persistence, and precision. The tools of goal setting, embracing the grind, and continuous learning are your chisels, shaping your path to greatness. But remember, the sculpture's true power lies not in the tools but in the vision, the unwavering resolve to see the sculpture not for the block of marble it is but for the masterpiece it will become. Making it happen is about more than just action, it's about intentional action. It's about aligning your daily tasks with your deepest values and highest aspirations, recognizing that every choice you make, every effort you exert, is a brushstroke on the canvas of your life, contributing to the grand picture of your destiny. This requires not just hard work but smart work, strategically leveraging your strengths, continually adapting to feedback, and staying the course despite the tempest that may seek to veer you off your path. In this journey, do not underestimate the power of small steps. The mightiest mountains are climbed one step at a time, and the most daunting goals are achieved one task at a time. It's the accumulation of these small, seemingly insignificant actions that leads to monumental achievements. Therefore, pledge to take at least one step every day toward your dreams, no matter how small. For it's in these steps that the path to greatness is paved. Embrace the moments of failure, not as detours on your journey but as integral parts of the map. Each setback, each obstacle, each failure is replete with lessons that guide you, that make you wiser, stronger, and more resilient. They remind you that the path to success is not a straight line but a winding road filled with lessons to be learned and victories to be earned. Making it happen, turning your dreams into reality, is an art and a science, a symphony of disciplined action, relentless perseverance, and continuous adaptation. It's a dance between dreaming and doing, between learning and applying. Carry with you the lessons you've learned, the insights you've gained, and the resolve you've strengthened. Step into the arena of your dreams with confidence, armed with the knowledge that you possess everything you need within you to make it happen. 
Let this be not just the end of a discourse, but the beginning of a journey, a journey of transformation, achievement, and legacy. Make it happen, not someday, but today and every day henceforth, as you craft your life into the masterpieces they are meant to be.